What's up, YouTube? What's up, Facebook? Let's get it. This is the A versus the B. We just switched over. This is their first game on World's Edge. It looks like like Alliance is contesting. I'm not sure who at Thermal. I hate these Thermal fights, so I'm not going to lie. I hate when one team wants to just sit on height and just wait for the other team to make a mistake. Oh, that's tough. Such a weird fight. These teams both have like no loot. What the meds like on either side as well, because this might be a smarter game plan than we're giving them credit for. Doing damage, knowing how many meds are gonna be at the top of that central structure here, the drill structure inside a thermal station. If they yeah, their next push is gonna be huge. Damage, it means that Flora at some point on that high ground will be sitting ducks or forced to fight, and that looks like what Flora are trying to do here. Yeah, they have dropped, they want to get involved, they have a lift of their own. Oh no. Akis, what was going on out there, bro? Mandy went crazy. Mandy went crazy. Mandy just went crazy. Oh my god, the whole the whole crowd is just chanting Mandy. But Mandy's got like scans on him right now. No way! Flora win the great battle of Thermal Station and the entirety of the southwest of the map is now theirs because everyone else on the map Sound is low? Got you. So the question is, are Alliance going to change up their strategy a little bit? Are they going to give away that high ground? Are they going to try, try and play a few different angles? Because last time getting trapped on that low ground seemed to hurt them a little bit. Yeah, inevitably we're going to end up with a fight here and Alliance oh. have already been able to get a kill here. So this is far better for them. Being able to pick one of these players off means now they can play the game how they want to. They can dictate the pace of this fight. They can push the initiative. Well, Alliance, they are 1-0 down, we'll say, when it comes to the contest here. Can they tie it up a one to one? And then when we go into game three, I'm going to see a last minute winner, Dan. See what I did? We're in the UK. A bit of a football analogy there for you. Like, yeah. All right, here we go. I hate it. And I hate, I hate it here. And I want to live. No, I love it. And I love it. I'm sure Jay Links will like it as well. But this is the same contest. Alliance now. It's a three versus two. They should win. But sometimes that can add extra pressure, right? Sometimes you can maybe get a little bit too antsy. You can push a little bit too quickly. Flora are going to make them wait every second. They are going to try and frustrate them as much as possible. But there will also be the thought process for Flora here of, okay, how do we get Miak back on his feet, right? How do we actually get back to a full three? Is it possible? And this is why we're seeing Sia utilize with a heartbeat sensor just to get as much information as possible. Well, the thing is as well, you got to think, if you're Flora right now, you're hoping Alliance make a mistake. If one person walks out a little bit too far, two of you focus fire, you turn it into a 2v2, and all of a sudden the pressure's back on Alliance, right? There's no just way they get this banner. Just abreast of what's going on in the rest of the map, because last time we completely out and they forgot the zones exist, Dan. We're going to talk about where that zone's going while this fight goes down it looks like landslide might be an option countdown of course it's Rent, thank you for the like man seems more moving uh, towards staging which is interesting maybe an end towards there here comes alliance then they are going to make the push they are going to make their way up they don't want to wait any longer they waited for the death box to be out and they get involved in the fight and it should be simple from here there's a lot of damage hackers will get the second knock hackers gets the second one one player left alive then on this high ground alliance looking to answer back and yuki looking to join the fight as well finish is going to come in as well and let me tell you mandy Swap. He wants to let them know that this is still Alliance's playground. It is still alive though. And he's managing to get a shield swap, but it looks like it's going to be the end because there are no bullets. You've, just, just, got, you've just got fists left as it is going to be tied up. Alliance. Oh my gosh, Alliance. Alliance for the finisher. Seek the well. finisher. So can... Someone's got to win it. I love how you pretended like it wasn't going to happen, Dan. I respect it. But of course, we're going to see Alliance versus Flora. I'm shocked that it doesn't get third party. I think Alliance, as long as they can get the same early frag, then they should be able to win this one. They're dropping low, and they are making sure they get these bits ASAP. Here comes the fight then. Hack is good shots with the wingman, but not getting the knock. It's very, very uncomfortable. And then Mike goes down here. Flora find themselves in two. Flora find themselves in a horrible spot. And all of a sudden, Alliance Flora is getting rolled. First contest is looking like once again, Thermal Station will belong to Alliance. It wouldn't have felt right if Alliance oh! Suddenly it's not all over yet. Oh, oh 
shit! Uh, let me uh, let me re uh, rephrase what I just said. Didn't realize there was a sentinel in play, and 126 is always going to do the business. He's going to go for the res here. It's a res versus res. Both teams up to 2v2 then. And I tell you what, as crazy as it sounds, how a fight can change with one shot from that sentinel. And I love this from Yudi. He's repositioning now with that sentinel. Found a little bit more ammo to play with as well. And now Alliance. No way. Everybody up. But look at that thermite. No it's way. Absolutely burning away those players on the outside. Yeah, Alliance had the advantage. They no way that this the happens. The to make sure they stayed alive. Now they have a huge advantage here. It's a three versus two again. And they've reset. They've got shield. Surely they can't throw There's this. There's no way he I throws that. Normally, like... Yes. But the Sentinel, Sentinel is a problem. And it is still hitting some big shots. Might see it against some ammo to play with at least. But this Sentinel really is the This game contest game. has been One wild. From this weapon, a headshot. And it completely changes. But are Alliance going to try and take that high ground here with the, with the lift? It looks like they have. So Alliance now thinking one step ahead once more. How do we deal with the team who's taking space? We take the high from them. I think it's also because they've seen the circle. They've seen where it's kind of heading and it is coming down southwest. Teams will be starting to go towards gunshots and trying to get into these positions down at the southern side of the map. Over towards tree, over towards thermal. So Alliance, they need to finish this fight quick. Oh, Mandy tries to say peekaboo. Hackers is going to have that wingman to do the damage though. Just to make this a little bit Oh my gosh, Alliance. It's a 2-1 Man, this contest has been like so fucking exciting all day. Holy shit. Well, thank goodness. It was looking like